and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip Series entitled, Did You Know That? Where we will be discovering or rediscovering tips in the 4350.3 Handbook, highlighting the things that we discover or rediscover according to what perspective you have. Today's tip can be found under Income Limits in Chapter 3, Paragraph 3-6, Section E, 3B, under Live-In Aid. Towards the bottom of the page, it states, Homemaker services such as housekeeping and meal preparation are not eligible for medical expense. We've been asked that question a lot. Did you know that? The next one, in the same paragraph under Section F, number 5 states, it's important that a household does not need to have income to be eligible for assisted housing programs that provide rental assistance through an assistance contract, such as your Section 8, your rent supplement, your RAP, your Section 202 PACs, your Section 202 PRACs, or even your Section 811 PRACs. Did you know that? They don't have to have income. The final tip for today can be found in paragraph 3-11, Consent and Verification Forms. It's in Section B, number 3. It states, note, the owner cannot use the EIV income reports a tenant who turns 18 between recertifications until the tenant has signed the form, even though employment or income will be reported in EIV. They have to have it signed. The owner must address in their EIV policies and procedures the notification requirements and the time frame for tenants who will turn 18 between annual recertifications to sign the consent forms, that's the 9887 and 9887A, if requiring the forms to be signed other than at recertification. Did you know that? Well, we have a lot to mark on our highlighted areas in our handbook today, and we're going to be back next week, so you tune in next week for highlights on the Did You Know That series. Thanks a lot for tuning in.